of campaigns uh -huh. to ensure that uh, we get rid of uh, this this menace before it swallows us all yes that's very because true. at the end of the day even what you even if you're not using you're affected in one way or the other either mm -hmm. by a family member or even a colleague at work you are affected seriously because mm -hmm. when a colleague is taking is a, is in addiction level mm -hmm. you work for them because no other employee will be employed immediately so they that's a burden to the colleagues mm -hmm. At home, when you're stealing, you're stealing the finances that are supposed to go to the family. When they keep taking you to the rehabilitation, another treatment, you are, you are taking the limited finances within your family. So it's affecting all of us. And a serious campaign required to be engaged. So that at least we can bring this one to a manager mm -hmm. I, t I talk about, and I want to agree with Prof, the issue of prescription drugs. You put them in the pocket, we are used to having drugs in our pocket. Mm. So you'll find that a child like during the COVID time would be at home. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the day, the parent talks to this child and you are not communicating just because the child is taking the drug. He's already packed in there, in the pocket. Mm -hmm. And with, with my study also, I realized that some even stopped taking heroin and all that. They are only on doing the prescription only. So we require a very spirited campaign for parents and everybody to be aware that not the drugs that are being used by our people, they are not just for medical use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, physiological treatment, they are for abuse. We require to be aware. Mm -hmm. Come to the medical setting. In my study, I had doctors and nurses who are addicted. And where do they get their supply? In the hospital. In the hospital. Yeah, that's a big, big, those, big issue those, we have sick doctors. Those nurses, yes, a whole trained doctor. Addiction can affect everybody. Mm. You realize that when you go to the hospital, we have the pithidine. The pithidine, we have like the morphine. That is, these medications are even like trauma that you talked about. Mm -hmm. They are used to treat pain. And especially the people who are suffering from chronic illnesses like the cancer. Mm -hmm. But we have doctors who are stealing this pay, this medication from the hospital. From the hospital. And there's, there's one, one nurse who told me, Dr. if you ever have a, a, a space anywhere, can you talk about nurses and doctors using patients' medication for themselves? Your patient is groaning there in pain, and somebody has taken that medication. Then even this surprise that you find out there, mm -hmm. it's also from the hospital. Maybe I bought for your patient, and then I take it, because it's about money. It's about money. But for me, as I sit here, I'm not fighting the supplier. Why? You don't go for something that you don't need. Mm -hmm. There are many things that are being sold, mm -hmm. and I, you don't buy. Why don't you buy? Because you don't need, you don't have value for it. We need to work on our people mm -hmm. so that they can make informed choices as they go to buy. Because if there was no demand, there would be no supply. What is causing this demand? We should, we should address that. All right. Thank and still, on, on addressing issues,